typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Streetlights like this one were part of a renovation effort a few decades back. Sadly, the effort was abandoned before it was completed, and so these lights still illuminate crumbling streets. The light pole has been carefully cut, and the wiring has been redone and attached to a standard indoor plug. The light buzzes faintly, but persistently. This would make quite a statement in your living room. Yes, officer. As you see, it's in perfect working order. His manner is casual, but his speech is careful, measured. He wants you to know that he has nothing to hide. It was brought to me to be altered. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. 700 real. A bargain, I dare say. A bargain? No, it's not. He's trying to sweet-talk you into buying trash. The light has undergone three transformations, and every transformation, large or small, has a price tag. The light has been removed and rewired. That's two transformations. But what about the third? The most important transformation is the light's placement among ordinary indoor fixtures which has adjusted its morphological field. The light became suitable for use inside the home just a few days ago. Okay, that checks out. Excellent choice. I'm almost sad to part with it. It is quite heavy. You're going to need a truck. That's all right. I can keep it here for you until you find one. But why? It's a perfectly wonderful light. Besides, there are no refunds or exchanges for items bought in this shop. <laughs>